Hey everybody, in this lesson I will do weather observation station 19, an exercise from the aggregation subsection of the SQL section in HackerRank. Let's get started. We're given this question that has the station table with five columns, ID, city, state, lat, underscore n, and long, underscore w. For the purposes of this question, we only care about lat, underscore n, and long, underscore w. So we consider P1 of A, comma, C, and P2 of B, comma, D to be two points in a 2D plane where A, B are the respective minimum and maximum. So basically the X of P1 is the minimum lat underscore N and the X of P2 is the maximum lat underscore N. And then similarly, C is going to be the minimum long W and D, that's the Y for P2 is going to be the maximum long W. So it's asking us to query the Euclidean distance between the two points and format it to display four decimal digits. It doesn't say if it's truncate or round, so you can use either one. So if you want to find out more about this, basically the formula is this. You got P and Q, two points on the plane. You want to find out the distance between them. Uh, the formula is like this. You got, uh, if you take the X of the first point, subtract the uh, x of the other one, right? So you have q1 minus p1, basically the x's here on the x-axis. And then you, you subtract them, square. Then you take the y values, right, from q and p, right, q2 minus p2, square that, and you add them up. And then finally, if you take the square root of everything, you should get the distance. Let's get back to that. So basically, the form is going to be some x1, Let's say x2 minus x1, square that, add the y2 minus y1, square that, and then the whole thing, we take the square root. Okay, now let's translate this to SQL. Uh, I'm going to use my SQL, by the way. Let me choose my SQL here. And basically, what's x2, what's x1? Here, x2 is going to be max of lat underscore n x1 is going to be the minimum so minimum lat underscore n so we got x2 minus minimum lat underscore n it's x1 so you take these two and we have to square right if you want to square this multiply by itself right so you could do this times itself or you could leverage some of the mathematical functions from sql if you go to my SQL, the docs, there's some mathematical functions you can use. The one we're interested in is pow or power. This one returns the value of x raised to the power of y. So the first argument is whatever you want to raise. And y is the, the power. In this case, it would be 2, right? So going back there, instead of repeating myself, I'll just use pow. So here, take this whole thing, pass it to the pow function. Now the second argument here inside the outer parentheses, you have to say two because we want to take this and square it. So that's fine for the this part here, the x2 minus x1 square. Now let's do the other one is the y's, right? The y's would be this d minus c. And if you can see what's d and c, c is the minimum and d is the maximum of long underscore w. So basically you do max of long underscore w that's going to be D minus m the minimum of long underscore W. That's going to be C, right? The Y1 value here from P1. So we do the same thing. You have to square this. So I'll just use pow of the whole thing, put parentheses around. And inside, as a second argument, two to say square. Now that we have these two, we got to add them up. So I'm going to add them up. Now we have to take the square root of this whole thing. Now to do that, there's a sqrt function. If you look at the docs, this one here, sqrt of x takes the square root of the value. So I can do that. Takes this whole thing, think of it as one thing, pass it to sqrt, parentheses around it, and that will take the square root. Now with that in mind, I can just select that whole thing from station. But there's this detail about displaying four decimal digits. So I can either truncate or round. I'll just use truncate. It doesn't say which one it wants. So truncate this whole thing and add the parentheses around it. Don't forget. 
Now let's say inside the outer parenthesis comma for to say we want to drop everything after the fourth uh, digit to the right of the decimal. So we only get in effect after the dot four digits. And there you go, 184.1616, only four after the dot. And I'll submit. And that's Weather Observation Station 19.